Hey everyone, it's Rochelle and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys my updated foundation routine. I'm also going to show you guys how I achieved this eye look as well. So if you want to see how I got it, continue to watch. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to do this talk through video for you guys. I haven't done a talk through video in forever. So bear with me. Okay, so I already went ahead and I prepped my skin for foundation. So you always want to make sure you prep your skin. So I already washed my face apply my moisturizer and all that stuff prior to recording this video so we're just gonna move on to the skin okay so let's move on to primer today I'm gonna use the Smashbox photo finish primer I use this in almost all of my video it's definitely one of my favorite primers I love the way it looks on my skin uh, it reduces fine lines like wrinkles <laughs> and it makes my pores appear a lot smaller and it has a velvety finish to it and I love that Okay, so let's move on to foundation. So today I'm gonna use my Ride or Die, my favorite foundation, hands down. And this is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. I absolutely love this foundation. It gives you a really flawless finish and it looks really nice in photos, but I'm gonna mix it today. And I just started doing this recently because of my boo, Sandra Deluxe. She loves MAC Pro Long Wear Foundation. It's her favorite. I mix both of them together because she's like, you gotta mix them together. So I did that. I mix them together and you guys, oh my gosh, this foundation, these two together is everything. So the MAC Pro Long Wear is a long wear foundation and the coverage is more on the medium side, but you can definitely build it up. And the MAC Studio Fix Fluid is full coverage. So I put it on the back of my hand and then I'm just gonna add a little of the Pro Long Wear as well. And I'm just gonna go ahead and tap that on. Okay, so to apply the foundation, I'm gonna use a Damp Beauty Blender sponge. Now, if you guys are curious about the shades that I use, I use NC44 and NC45 because the NC45 on its own, it's a little too dark for me and the NC44 is a little too light. So I mix them together. And you guys, I got new lighting. This is my first time using this light. So hopefully my makeup, my foundation doesn't look like too yellow or too crazy looking in this lighting. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to concealer. And I'm gonna use the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer in the shade NC45, and I'm gonna apply it under my eyes. I like using this concealer because it doesn't crease up on me, so I'm not using this to highlight or anything like that. It's simply just to cancel out my dark circles, and I'm just going to tap that on. Okay, so next we're gonna move on to highlight. You can use whatever concealer works best for you. I know some people have a love-hate relationship with this concealer. Some people hate it because they feel like it's too thick. I personally love it because it does wonders for under my eyes. And I'm gonna use a really light shade. It's super light, but it's gonna brighten up my under eye area. Now, this is the reason why I applied the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer in the same shade as my skin tone because when I apply this under my eyes, it's not gonna look too bright. This is actually in the shade NW25. And I also apply it on the back of my hand and I'm gonna use my finger to warm up the product. That way it applies a lot smoother and easier. And I'm just gonna apply this with my finger. If you have really short nails, that is amazing because you could just apply it with your finger and just pat it on. Are you seeing this eye and this eye? It's already doing wonders. And I also highlight in this area, so I'm just using the same product that's on the back of my hair. I apply it as close to my nose as possible. A little trick I picked up from watching Makeup by Shayla's Snapchat. If you haven't watched her Snapchat, you should watch them. She is hilarious. And I'm also going to apply a bit on the chin area as well, down the center of my nose. And we're going to make the tree of life. Seriously, like, it looks like a tree. Okay, so now we're highlighted and we're going to leave it like this and take some slain ass pictures. I'm just kidding. Okay, so let's move on to blending out the product. I'm going to use a damp sponge to do so. So we're going to blend under the eyes first. So I really love how the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer works with the Studio Finish Concealer. It creases up a little bit, but when I add the Pro Long Concealer, I find that it doesn't crease up on me as much, and I love that. Now, I know you guys can see this weird line that I have going on here. It's like an obvious highlight. We don't want that line. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go back into my Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. So I'm just going to apply it onto the sponge, and then I'm just going to go it right on top of that crazy line because we don't want that obvious highlight so we're just gonna apply. I'm saying we because you know I'm talking to you guys like we we're doing this together 
and I also apply it here as well. So now that crazy line is gone. That is not cute. Now we're gonna go ahead and snatch the nose. See, now it already looked like I contoured my nose because my foundation is obviously darker than the highlight. So the center of my nose is already light. I don't know if you guys can notice that, so I really don't even need to contour my nose anymore. The nose is snatched. I don't really have to, you know, contour it. If I don't want to, I feel like this technique makes my nose look slimmer anyway. So I'm gonna use MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Deep Dark. I use this to bronze up my skin and I also use it to contour. I'm gonna use this brush and this one is by Morphe. It's the E2 brush. I love this brush for uh, my powder contour and just bronzing my skin. And I'm just applying it on the hollows of my cheek and pretty much all over my face. I applied along my forehead, hollows of my cheek. Okay, so I applied the bronzer for my contour and I feel like my contour is not like clean and sharp and defined. And I like it a little bit more, you know, mm, like that, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to bacon. And I've done this in quite a lot of my videos. However, with this foundation technique that I do now, my baking technique has changed. So instead of applying it all under my eyes, I don't do that anymore. And there's a reason for that. And I'm gonna explain to you guys as we go along why I don't do it under my eyes anymore. But I want it to be under my contour because it's gonna give my contour really, you know, sharp and defined contour. And that's what I want. I want my contour to be a little bit more defined than this because this is this is not doing nothing for me right now. So I'm going to use the Ben Nye Luxury Powder in the shade of Banana. If you're not a yellow undertone, you do not have to use the banana powder. My undertone is yellow, so that is why I use the banana powder. You can also use a translucent powder as well. You can also use a different shade because Ben Nye Luxury Powder comes in many different shades. So I apply it onto my sponge and I apply it under my contour. So it's gonna look like a beard, like this is my beard. And I apply it on my chin area as well. So in the areas that I get a bit more on the oily side, I'm just gonna add a little bit of the powder onto my brush and just apply it in those area where I know I'm gonna get a little shiny. So no baking in this area. Cause I still, I just want my skin to look, you know, nice and glowy and with the powder everything just end up looking matte and I don't want that. So now I'm going to grab the Smith 112 brush and I'm going to apply a bit of the banana powder onto the brush, just a small amount, and I'm just going to sweep it under my eyes. So by doing that it's just going to lock the concealer into place and I'm not going to bake this area. I find that when I apply like too much of the powder and I'm baking that area, my highlight doesn't glow as much. And I want my highlight to glow. So I don't add as much powder. Okay, so I have my little beard going on and I'm gonna let it sit and bake while I move on to the eyes. So I'm gonna do one eye off. Okay, so I already completed one eye off camera and I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye now for you guys. And I'm gonna switch it into voiceover mode because it's just a lot easier for me to do my eyes in voiceover. Moving on to the eyes, the first thing I'm gonna do is apply a base all over the eyelid. I love using the Max Soft Ochre Paint Pot because I like the way it makes my eyeshadows look. It makes my eyeshadows pop and look really vibrant. Now, the first eyeshadow I'm using is Makeup Geek Cosmetics Cocoa Beer. It's definitely one of my favorite transition colors. And I'm just gonna pop that into the crease using a Sigma E40 brush. This is also one of my favorite brushes. Next, I'll be using the eyeshadow bitten, also from Makeup Geek, and I'm just gonna pop that into the crease, and I'm using a smaller blending brush. Well, this is a MAC 224 brush, but it's actually worn out, so it's not smaller. I've had it forever and ever. But I'm gonna go in with the Sigma E40 and blend out the eyeshadow. I love these eyeshadows. I love Makeup Geeks. On my eyelid, I'm using Confection, also by Makeup Geeks, and Mirage on the inner corner. It's like a vanilla shade, and that's also by Makeup Geeks. I'm a little obsessed with Makeup Geeks eyeshadows. They're very affordable, and they're very pigmented now I'm gonna apply some mascara to my lashes and I'm using a mascara it's from Mac uh, 
that will be in the description bar down below because I can't remember the name of it. And for lashes, I'm using Lash Bunny Boutique. I love these lashes. But I'm going to stack them. So I stack them with some Ardell Demi Wispies. So I apply my Ardell lashes first. And then I applied my other lashes off camera because I was struggling to put them on today, you guys. Like, I need to be, like, up close in the mirror when I do, when I do apply lashes. <laughs> on my waterline, I'm going to apply a black eye pencil. This one is from Wet n Wild, one of my favorite because I find that it doesn't, like, smudge. So I really like it. And I'm just going to go back into the eyeshadow Bitten and Cocoa Beer and reapply it into my crease. And I add a little bit of the mascara onto under my lashes just to blend them into the falsies. And of course, we're going to apply some mascara onto the bottom lashes as well and line the waterline. I also forgot to mention that I applied the eyeshadow Cocoa Beer along my bottom lash line. Okay, you guys, so now that the face is complete, the face is not completed. Now we're going to move on to my favorite part. Since the eye is completed, I'm going to go ahead and add my shimmer highlight. You guys know I like to glow. So, I might be doing the most right now. Okay, so today I'm gonna use my favorite highlighter. This is the Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow. And the brush that I'm using is the Morphe M310 brush. Look at this guy, is like struggling. It is on life support. And I'm gonna apply this on the highest point of my cheeks. <laughs> yes, come through. Like, look at that glow I'm getting my entire life right now. And I also apply it down my nose, on the tip of my nose. So now I'm going to apply some blush to my cheeks. And today I'm going to be using Peaches by MAC. And I'm just making a little smile. And I'm going to apply it on the apples of the cheek. Now we're going to move on to lips. I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with my favorite lip pencil. This is Cork, also by MAC. This is a new favorite lipstick of mine. This is Meow and it's by Winky Lux. Meow. I'm actually starting to look ridiculous with my little beard, so I'm gonna take this off now. <laughs> Dust that away, cause we don't need it anymore. I don't always use a setting spray to set my makeup. Sometimes I do. I'm all out of my Urban Decay setting spray. And I'm just gonna add some MAC Fix Plus spray to my face. It's not a setting spray at all, but it just makes my skin look nice and dewy. Oops. Oh my god, it's close, okay. And this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please give me a big thumbs up if you do, and I'll see you in another video very, very soon. I love you. Bye. Slay, bitch.